this little kitty right here. I happened to have walked downstairs to figure out what was going on with my previous vlog's upload, and he's been following me ever since. Fun part is that I'm trying to work right now. He's definitely not leaving me alone. Uh, maybe I need to take an early lunch. It's not that early after all. But Kitty. Full of so many purrs. He was trying to eat this phone. Oh, nope, I think he's trying to eat it again. <laughs> kind of wish I had a second camera handy to record what this looks like. Okay, he wants my attention more than he wants to be recorded, so. Oh, you are such a beautiful kitty. Just want to record for posterity. Look at how close we are together. Oh, now Zone's leaving, of course. After I start recording with Isin and Zone purring right next to each other. Oh well. So this has gone well. Um having some problems with my back. Um, I actually took the rest of the day off of work because I couldn't sit any longer and standing hurts too. The only thing that doesn't hurt is either lying down or lying in a not quite lying down but not quite sitting up position for like a better way of phrasing it. Not the greatest feeling. I took the only painkillers that I can actually take that have any effect that aren't narcotics. Um, the pain is definitely a lot, uh, I don't even know how to describe it because painkillers usually don't work on me and this one does. It's like the pain is still there, but my brain isn't processing the pain anymore. I don't know if that even makes any sense. Um, so yeah, this is going great. I have fewer than two sick days left for the entire year. And April is just ending. I don't exactly have a huge amount of time tonight, so I'm just doing a brief show. This thing right here that you can probably barely even see, I wish I actually... I do have a light that I can do while recording. Sweet. So this computer right here, the giant green one of Doom. Maybe see my reflection? No, just my hand. Um, this is my main virtual machine server. Uh, I probably need to redust the top. I'm just seeing all the dust from the camera. Anyway, um, this is a big honker of a computer. Uh, giant fan in front, two CPUs, one there, one there, fans in between, because the second CPU is going to be hotter than the first due to the airflow. Fan back here. And this thing is mostly empty, if you can't tell. Um, there's not much in the way of anything plugged into it other than RAM. I don't even have any hard drives in this case. This case is freaking huge, ridiculous overkill for anything that I need. Um... And my VM host is a little on the old side. Oh, I should mention what VM host. Uh, virtual machine host. This is what I run my home lab off of, primarily. Or at least I used to. These two HP boxes. Um, they're tiny desktops. They're older ones. Um, they're uh, HP ProDesk. Yeah, ProDesk Mini... Was it 605 or 405? I don't remember which model now. Um, G4s. So this is Generation 4. They're currently on Generation 9 for reference, so these are a little on the old side. But these two boxes right here, which are both on right now, are more powerful than that entire thing. And the best part? Uh, so this is my little battery backup, but one thing it does is tell me how much power I'm using. I am using a rounding error of watts. It's just showing up as zero because these things idle so low that the kilowatt meter built into the UPS can't actually tell. 
Um, from what I've been able to measure, which my kilowatt now is dead, so I can't measure it easily, each of these idle at about 4 watts of power. This idles at 70. It also doesn't use more than 70 to speak of. It's pretty much just using as much as it's ever going to take. And these two boxes here combined are significantly more powerful than that thing. These are actually for my new networking project where um, Radius is the internal box and Rokamos is the external box. Um, the vent, I accidentally broke off some of the plastic things on the vent and I'm actually not sure where the front fell. I don't see it anywhere down here at least. It's such a mess. Apologies. Um, but anyway, so this for reference, for those of you that might actually know what I'm talking about, this is running dual E5 2448L V2 Xeon processors, so Intel based processors. These are running, each of them are running one um, AMD Ryzen, is it 2500G? Ryzen 5 2500G? They're quad core 8 thread. That is dual 10 core 20 threads, but the CPU cores are so ridiculously weak that these are actually more powerful. This also has 48 gig of RAM. Each of those have 16. So at the moment I'm lower on RAM, but I could upgrade those to each 64. And this theoretically I could upgrade at 96 gig, but that's a lot of money than not worth it. Anyway. Ooh, I'm dark. Let me move where you can see my face. Um, I slept for three hours after that last video clip, so it's actually fairly late, so I'm just going to go to bed. I would normally have done something like this on a night that I don't have as much time, but I'm feeling like garbage, so I'm going to go to bed. Night, Internet. Oh yeah, I forgot to whole mention the, what I actually do with these things. Um, so those two tiny boxes, those are actually not technically VM hosts. I haven't replaced my VM host yet. Those are what are referred to as Docker hosts. They host Docker containers. A Docker containers... Ooh, that would take me a lot to explain. But in less technical terms, a container in this particular situation is a tiny computer object that processes one service. So like for instance, a web server might be a container and a different web server might be a different container. Uh, the container would have all of the services required to make that web service work. So for instance, I have a container that handles my food inventory, uh, Grocy, which lets me use my phone to scan barcodes to find out what food is and to log what food is in my house. So when I, one, go grocery shopping, I actually know what's in my house. And two, so I can, it can tell me, hey, look, what's about to expire so I know what I need to cook. So that's an example of the type of thing that I actually run inside of my home lab. And the Docker containers are very good for replacing some things. Boo Kitty, what are you doing? Uh, it's definitely time for bed, so she's trying to eat everything in sight. Um... So yeah, that's the type of thing that it runs. And those two boxes, one of them is for public facing services and one of them is for internal facing services. I wanted them separate because that's better security wise. I'm not using the public facing one at the moment. I need to work on that, but that requires time and I haven't had any of that. Anyway, I've been trying to work on shrinking my computing services, physically shrinking them, because then they're easier to move. The more you know. Okay, now I'm going to uh, copy this video from my phone to my NAS, which is actually that box that was below the uh, Rokama Sunroidius, my two tiny desktop boxes that are Docker hosts. Um, copy the video to that and shove everything together and let it render overnight. Talk to you later, Nanette. Bye.